time. Get me some food! Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. back after another great day at the conference and as I mentioned before uh, I had my Lyft ride decide to cancel my reservations uh, this morning and I found out through uh, my Lyft driver or my Uber driver that the reason they do that is because they don't want to pay the island fee to get onto Jekyll Island that said uh, I think that's cock and bull because if those drivers pay that six dollars to get on they can drive people to and from uh, Jekyll Island and the airport or to and from St. Simons because right now there's nothing as far as uh, what do you call it ferries to get between those islands and then I'm sure there are plenty of people that want to get back to the airport and plenty of other people that need to get from uh, Jekyll Island to Jacksonville, Florida, which evidently is a half hour away, and then uh, another hour up to Savannah. So the driver that canceled on me really, really chickened out, and he missed out on a great opportunity not only to just help me, but also to hang out there on the island and find some tourists, because this is touristy season and it's summer. Now, I was thinking about vacationing down here, and that didn't work out because of uh, the spotty transportation via Uber and Lyft. So what I found out though is the island, which is north of here, where, which is where we've been having our conference, which is St. Simons, they have Uber and Lyft galore. So I've decided to possibly, in addition to uh, Savannah for Labor Day weekend, I'm thinking of uh, coming down here for Christmas too, because I think it's okay if I get away for a while and just get away from Atlanta. And I'm not talking about a big thing. I thought about doing a cruise right after a fall semester, but I think a couple days via Airbnb or a Verbo are the way to go. And I'm thinking of possibly eating Chinese food on the island and maybe climbing up the lighthouse. I spoke to the driver this morning on the Uber or the Uber that I took, which by the way was a gorgeous ride. And he told me that because the tourists come down here all year long that everything stays open. So I have a chance to go up to the St. Simon's Lighthouse, which is something I'm going to do tomorrow. Now tonight I'm trying to go into downtown Jekyll because number one, uh, the world's famous Marty Jekyll, who is a kitty. He's a little brown tabby and I got some footage of him last year and he's on my Facebook page and I have actually added him. He has his own Facebook page, by the way. And so we're friends on Facebook, which is funny. It's a little cat that goes meow, 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 meow. And speaking of transportation, I was actually looking at uh, Uber and he said yes, and then he called me up and wanted to know if I was getting off the island and he wasn't comfortable. So I'm trying to find other means of transportation because uh, if he's not comfortable with it, then it's not a good idea. So I'm just calling around. Uh, I also have another option of taking a bike up there. And if that's the option, then I'll do that. But it looks like we have a thunderstorm coming in. So I do want to be careful. That's why I want to do a lift. Well, guess what? I have good news. The storm is getting ready to come in pretty soon. And then I'm gonna go try to have dinner on the wharf. But first, what I'm going to do is go meet up with Marty Jekyll. And I gotta go call him and try to get him on here before this battery gets low. Speak. Marty Jekyll. YouTube, this is a celebrity around here. He's responsible for cat rescue. 
Speak! Am I speaking to the camera? No. Can I get your picture, Marty Jekyll? This row here has a slew of beautiful homes. And JP Morgan's old apartment is down that way. And apparently these are ooh, they're haunted. But I don't really get into that stuff. Um, the paranormal stuff can be really dangerous and really messy, so I just try to stay away from that. I wonder how much they offer for a carriage ride. It is lightning out here tonight, but luckily they have an indoor section so I can just watch the storm and then when I'm ready I can just get some food. Or as my dad once said, just get yourself some food! Shrimp and grits, especially down here. And a Jekyll Island version of the Moscow meal. Cheers! All right, it's pouring out here, and I'm trying to get off this water with the lightning. I don't want to get zapped. See, there, there was some right there, so. I am officially back now, and I have been keeping my eye on this ice cream. This is the Sour Patch Edition, and I was talking to the clerk inside the Holiday Inn, and he told me that, uh, he didn't like it because of the Sour Patch Kids and vanilla ice cream combo, but I decided to try it uh, because I like to take a walk on the wild side. I'm back in the room now and I am high and dry and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this Sour Patch Kids ice cream and I wanna let you know what I think firsthand and I love Sour Pitch Kids, and yes, I still eat things that have uh, artificial food coloring on it and flavors, even though I'm an adult. So, I also wanted to let you know, this is kind of small talky, uh, I stopped over at uh, Dollar Tree with my colleague today because she needed to pick up some cream for her coffee. And I decided to pick up a little bit of makeup and I picked up a birthday card for a friend who is watching Applejack. And his name is Brian and we have uh, had a good time. I am yet to babysit his cat, Olive, and if I do, I'll let you know, but she is a sweet little uh, long-haired black cat and she is so talkative. It's meow, meow, meow. It is the most adorable thing. I'm not kidding you. I'm finally my pajamas. Hey, no, don't get on the bed. You're not gonna stay in the mattress. Okay. Um, but yeah, I know. Um, ice cream doesn't eat, it doesn't breathe, and it certainly does grow. So, without further ado, I'm gonna sit in this chair and try this stuff. Okay, one, two, three. First of 
all. That's not vanilla ice cream. It's more like frozen vanilla flavored ice. Um, it reminds me more of a snow cone. I was looking for vanilla ice cream with Sour Patch Kid flavors, but it's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's too tangy, but I'm eating it. I paid for it seven dollars for this. Mm. Well, I go from a fine dinner tonight spending thirty dollars on shrimp and grits and a Jekyll Island Worth version from the Jekyll Island Club Hotel, or Jekyll Island Inn Club Resort, the uh, restaurant style Moscow Mule, to this. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure, but no. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna go to the conference around 9 30 with my supervisor my colleague we're gonna go together i told her about my situation with uh, uber and lyft and i talked to other, several other people about it and they think that it's really ridiculous that these uber drivers can't even think logically about getting themselves an, an annual pass for 55 dollars because that's extra money in their pockets and there are lots of people that don't drive and other people that want to save money on gas. So they really need to think before they uh, stick their noses up in the air like that. That's rude. Oh. You purr just as much as my cat. Yes, you do, Marty Jekyll.